Steve Spangler, and I'll bet you're looking for a science fair project. You've come to the right place here for the science fair page here at stevespanglerscience.com. Now, you might just be looking for those Petri dishes and the auger, and you know exactly what you're going to do with your project, and of course, we'll help you out that way. But we put this page together for those people who are also looking for some ideas, because you might have noticed on our site, if you look at the navigation up above, that not only do we have an experiments library, but we also have over 300 videos for you to look at. Now, none of the things that you're going to find there are just uh, out of the box science fair projects. There is going to be a little bit of work on your part, but it's very, very easy, and I'll show you what you're going to do. You need to understand the difference between a science experiment, kind of a cool little activity, and an actual science fair project. You know, dropping the Mentos into the Coke and causing the big eruption, that's a pretty cool science trick. But if you want to turn it into a science fair project, you're going to have to incorporate some of your own elements to count, compare, classify, observe, and measure. You're probably going to want to add, set up some sort of comparison. So we all know that if you drop Mentos into soda, it's going to explode. But you have to stop and ask yourself some questions. What do you really want to know about that? How do we turn it into an experiment that's actually a project that allows us to be able to compare some things? For example, you might want to know if I drop one Mento into a bottle of soda, will the geyser go up just as high as if I drop five Mentos? How about 10 Mentos? You can see the comparison, but the important thing that you have to understand is that you can only change one variable at a time. So if you're going to change the number of Mentos, the type of soda, the temperature of the soda, everything has to stay the same. You have to just change one variable at a time to be able to, uh, to do this for a science fair project. And it kind of makes sense as you look at all of the videos that are, are here in the experiment, ideas that are here. You you yourself have to make some of those changes and you're going to have a great science fair project. If you're a parent visiting our site, you're going to find some links below about tips for parents. Uh, kids, if you're looking at the site and you're trying to come up with an idea, you might have some ideas about formatting your science fair board that you see below. And if you're a teacher, there's some great tips here how you can encourage your students and get the most out of them as we try to teach the scientific method. Well, it's time for me to stop talking, time for you to start clicking. Take a look at the videos, the experiments. You're going to come up with some great ideas. Have a great science fair.